They are turning eyesores into works of art. This is considered a new crime fighting tool in the Sacramento Oak Park neighborhood. CBS 13's Ron Jones is getting answers on how community leaders are now taking on urban decay one brush stroke at a time. The nonprofit organization that's sponsoring this program believes not only does this reduce blight, but crime. <laughs> this is putting a new face on an old abandoned eyesore. Is part of the decorative board up project in Oak Park. Sometimes you can't even tell it's boarded up. The Sacramento chapter of the nonprofit organization Neighbor Works is placing these decorative boards on more than 20 vacant and abandoned homes and buildings in Oak Park. Nice. Some of these buildings have been neglected for decades. Community leaders believe if you don't cover it up, it's inviting trouble in. People breaking in. Crime happening in the house, arson, people dumping. So it just leads to a lot of other problems as well. Just something when I see it out there, I'm like, I have to go and paint that. Patrice Miller's art studio and gallery is in Oak Park. She's helping with the project. My art and my uh, community are very much tied together. <laughs> and it does a lot. It really does a lot for the community. The decorative work is free of charge, paid for by donation. I think it's great. I think it's better than looking at, at boarded up places. Oak Park still has its challenges with crime and urban decay, but residents appreciate this facelift. So this is an opportunity to show people that we are doing things in the community for the community. Now the Neighborhood Foundation says that they are now working with Sacramento City leaders to complete more decorative board up projects in South Sacramento and Del Paso Heights as well. <laughs>